excited? Are you excited? Let's get this party started. So I've got some cool things coming up here and I'm excited. And so I was doing some blog posts because that's what I've been talking about on my Monday night marketings. And so I'm like, you know what? If I want to teach people to do it, I'm going to do it myself too. And I'm setting my goals for 2023. And I'm excited about the things that I'm going to be putting out for you to start helping you grow your business, be successful, and change your life. And that is my goal. And I know we're only three days away from Christmas, but I also know that a lot of people are going to have an, an amazing Christmas this year because they put things into place and things happen and they've grown their business. And so that is what I'm talking about. You know, how can you start and grow your business and be successful? And so I do have some cool things coming up here. And actually, I got two things coming up tonight. I'm going to be giving some cool things that you can see how they work. And I'm going to show you how they work. And I'm also going to be giving you $100 tonight. Some lucky person is going to get $100. I put the link of the video down in the bottom here. Um, you have to go do that video. And... If you don't got time tonight, I'm gonna actually going to give another 100 on Sunday. So I'll do 100 tonight and 100 on Sunday. The same person will not win, but somebody will win. And so that is my goal to help you to have a Merry Christmas, especially some of you might not be so lucky and having a harder time. But I did put the link down below. Go watch that video. But you also may want to watch this video because you may wait till about about 30 minutes in because I'm going to show you some cool stuff that I've got coming up for 2023 and I'm excited. I hope you're as excited as I am. You know, we got some cool people in here. We got Mr. Jason Hefner that did $250,000 part-time as a pressure washer and he put $150 used pressure washer, pump-up sprayer, garden hose, bleach, and hustle and grit and get it done, and you can do it, and it is so true. We got Dan. Is it frigid up there? Actually, the temperature is falling. It is starting to turn to snow. Um, it was literally 45 degrees at 7 o'clock, and it has fallen so much that it is snowing right now. We are supposed to get 2 to 4 inches, and it's supposed to be negative 4 with a windshield of like 40, negative 41 degrees. So, just completely crappy weather. I'm ready to go to Florida because I hate cold. Tomorrow is a high of two degrees. Two. One, two. Not too many. But negative. It's supposed to, with the wind chill, it's supposed to feel like negative 40. Whoever wants to live in this cold weather has got to be out of their mind. So, 2023 goals are landscape lighting training and Christmas lights. We love some Christmas lights. How are you doing, Pink Robin? That is awesome. Hey, Jason, missed Monday Night Live this week. Good to see you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, Kentucky Pros, 2023, 300000 and an employee. Come on now. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. You did two hundred fifty this year. That's only fifty thousand. You got at least do three fifty, if not four hundred thousand dollars for twenty twenty three. So we got Chris in the house. Merry Christmas to all. What's up? You staying warm tonight? I hope so. I don't know how I'm going to, but I hope so. Um, yeah, we supposed to get seven inches tonight. That just sucks. Uh, snow and rain here tomorrow. So what I want to hit on before we get too far in here. I've got some cool stuff coming into 2023. Again, I talked about the video I posted down there. If you want a chance to win 100 bucks, there's not many people um, that have done what they needed to do. So go watch that video and do what you're supposed to do down in the comments. And that is how that will work. I'll give $100 to wave tonight, a gift card, and a $100 gift card on Sunday night. Um, so that way we can help you get where you needed to go. We ended up just short of $250,000 next year. Our goal is $400,000. Dan, that is freaking amazing. And I haven't responded back to your message yet because I'm still thinking about some things. And I will text you or message you here before long if you haven't already figured out what you want to do. So 
I have set up, and this is something that I'm going to start offering, um, and it's probably not going to be right now. It's going to be part of the membership, but pretty soon it's not going to be part of the membership. Um, if you get in it, you will be all right, but you do have to be a member or it's going to be on its own. And so what I had said a couple nights ago is if you don't get the message saying that, hey, um, I know um, the Google gods have kind of screwed me a little bit and not everybody gets a message. And so I'm going to put this number right here. And what you can do is, is if you sign up for this, I will text you when I'm going live and I'm going to show you how this works. And so when you text this number, you're going to watch the magic happen and it's all automation. And so in 2023, I'm going to be really pushing about automation because automation definitely helps things get things done, right? I mean, that was a cold air that went to blowing in here. Um, automation gets that, gets stuff done. And so with that, if you text this number here, it will start, it's going to start automating. And I'm going to show you on my side uh, uh, later on how this works and what you can do is pretty cool. But let's talk about what are the cost of running and starting a pressure washing business. Um, this is something that I think that a lot of people don't understand how much it costs to run a pressure washing business. It doesn't matter if we're just starting out or if we're trying to grow and scale because a lot of times I hear people call, talking about how much does it cost, how much do, you, do I need to charge, but they don't know what their cost is. They don't know how much it costs to get a job. They don't know how much their equipment costs. They don't know how much anything costs. All they know is, is I did $100,000 at the end of the year, but 97,000 went out the door in cost, right? Because they don't understand cost, so they don't understand how to price your stuff out. And so I'm going to kind of go down. I've, I've actually got a blog, blog, uh, a blog post on this right here. And so on this blog post, this video will be on the blog post because in Monday Night Marketing, we've been talking about blogging and I can't tell them to blog without me blogging. So I'm. if you haven't checked out my blog, you can go to King of Pressure Wash and you'll find my blog there and you will see the video in this here. This one won't go out because I'm gonna wait till I put this video on, but this is what I'm gonna start doing so that I can drive traffic to my, so I'm, not, I'm just not doing one way, right? Right now, all my eggs have been in one basket of YouTube. And the YouTube gods start screwing you, now you're screwed. And this happens whether you're in YouTube gods or you're in the Google gods or you're in um, yard sign gods, something happens. And now the next thing you know, you can't, you're not making money off of that one thing. So this is a way that I am diversifying. And this is a way I want you all to, to start diversifying. And this is how you can do this is by diversifying. Don't put all your eggs in one cup because when the cup gets a hole in the bottom of it, you don't have nothing, right? So we want 10 cups, so that way we're connecting all these leads in all these different cups. We lose one cup, but we have four other cups. We don't care about those cups. So we gotta make sure that we're not putting all our eggs in our basket. So what, what are some of our costs, whether we're starting up or growing? right? Some costs that you might think of. So equipment costs, you know, any, rather you're just starting out or you're growing. Anybody that knows that have been running a pressure washing business more than a week, stuff breaks down. And it, every time that thing breaks down, it costs you $500. It just seems like every time I called Russ Johnson, and this was a long time ago, I was spending three to five hundred dollars. It and or if I'm ordering stuff on Amazon, there goes another three hundred dollars. Or if I'm going to Home Depot to pick up some parts to put the pressure washer together. You know, a lot of times we look at, oh look, we can get the pressure washer for thirty five hundred dollars. We can get the tank for um, five hundred dollars, and we can get this. But we didn't realize the bag of fittings that fit in just our hands, two hands, is five hundred dollars. It's like. How the hell is this $500? There's no way this is $500. But you walk out of the bag with a little bag and you're at $500. It just, stuff adds up and stuff is crazy when we're trying to either put it together or we're trying to keep maintaining that um, there. So 
I'm going to see something here. Oh, I got Manny signed up. I got Joel signed up and I got Jason signed up. Look at that. And I'm going to show you how this works. That's pretty awesome. You guys are already on my thing that I was talking about. So that's just the equipment. All right. So most people think, well, I can only, I can charge $100 an hour to pressure wash because it doesn't cost me that much. And what you don't realize is how much things cost. So the next thing comes in, our cleaning solutions. Well, you know, Bob over here on YouTube got this new fine fangle dangle chemical, so you got to buy it, and it's fifty dollars, one hundred dollars. And then Johnny over here's got a new chemical that does all this fangle dangle, and now you got to buy it. And now you got another five hundred or another hundred dollars, and then you got to buy bleach, which we all got to buy bleach. And if you're just starting out, you haven't figured out how to get it cheap, so you're at you're at five dollars a gallon because we haven't figured out how to get it at three dollars a gallon but even three dollars is expensive unless we live in florida and they're they're complaining because it's a dollar fifty now instead of 79 cents and so this is some things that we have to think about when we're dealing with bleach but again oh wait a minute jason put it's 290 down there now so that's what i used to pay when i was in business right and so <laughs> so but this is why we have to think about the cost of bleach when we're dealing with how much things cost it's not just about it and so jason was that person that went and bought every chemical because another youtuber or another person said he needed it and he had a whole shelf at his house that never got used so why are we buying all these chemicals that we don't need that if they two mix together we have a bomb in our house and it's dangerous right so yes we can get away with just bleach and that is a great way to help us do this so the next thing is labor so if we're going to grow and scale how much is our labor what's the cost of a li what's the cost of labor including the wages and benefits and it's imp and then the taxes and everything else that goes along with what I'm um, having a, an employee, you know, we might think I'm going to hire an employee and it's going to cost me 15 bucks an hour. I'm going to pay him 15 bucks an hour and it's going to cost me 15 bucks an hour. But in reality, it's going to be 20, 25 bucks an hour is how much that employee is going to actually cost you. It's not just what you got to pay him. You got to pay workers comp. You got to pay um, payroll tax. You got to pay all these other taxes. And then by the time it's done, you're paying 25 bucks an hour instead of 15. He's making 15 and the, everybody else is making 10. So this is things that we have to remember when we're dealing with how much this things cost. Okay, next thing. This is my favorite because everybody wants to spend a lot on number one, which was equipment, but nobody wants to spend money on marketing. And I seen somebody asking a question about marketing, but marketing, right? We got to spend 10% of marketing. You know, we got to figure out how much marketing is marketing, right? We don't know what our marketing cost is. You know, I, I see a lot of people and they're like, I don't want to spend more money. And as I see people grow in scale, they want to cut back on their marketing, right? And because yes, I get it. You can get more referrals. Yes, you can do it. But what got you to 200, what got you to 500, what got you to 800,000? If you cut back on marketing, how are you supposed to get to a million or 1.5 or 2 point or 2 million not by cutting back pulling back we got to give in we got to keep put feeding the machine right and i know a lot of times we get that point of well my referrals are going i got my google my business going everything's going good but i'm not growing i'm not scaling why am i not scaling because you quit spending money on marketing and you started didn't like that money going out because you know when you when you make a hundred thousand dollars and you spend ten fifteen thousand dollars that's not too bad right that's ten percent but when you're doing fifty thousand dollars or i'm sorry when you're doing five hundred thousand dollars and you're spending fifty thousand dollars in marketing you're like holy cow that's a lot of money this went out for marketing but guess what that's part of growing your business. If you want to grow and you want to be successful, you got to keep growing and being successful. So marketing, you got to keep marketing. And then the next one that nobody wants to, you're absolutely right. A lot of people have technician mindset, 100%. 
Um, the next thing is good old insurance. And there's all different kind of insurance we got to have, right? We got to have health insurance. We got to have um, general liability insurance, workers' comp insurance. We got to have, you know, car insurance, commercial car insurance, all kinds of insurance. And the next thing we know, we're paying out more. And the more we make, the higher the insurance goes up. It's just part of the good old um, system that we live in, right? The more we get, the more it goes up. So good old insurance. And then if we rent or lease or own a building, right? We got to pay for all the electric, the water, the all those things come in to factor in how much things cost. Um, taxes, right? We got to pay taxes and uh, more taxes and more taxes and rather it's local tax, state tax, federal tax, um, work um, employee tax. We got to pay all these taxes because the government wants their money. And then another great thing is when we're dealing with this stuff, vehicle maintenance, especially if you have employees. Because if you have employees and you have um, a vehicle, it's going to break down. I had a guy that he was in my truck and he was acting like a freaking race car. He had 300 gallons of water on, 100 gallons of bleach, and he got up to about 75, 80 miles an hour and a 45 mile an hour in, in less than a half a mile. I mean, he just hammered on. I couldn't even keep up with him. I'm like, dude, he didn't know where I was there. He didn't know I was following him. And he was literally flying with 300 gallons of water, 100 gallons of bleach. That's like a lot of, you know, 100 gallons of bleach is 1,000 pounds. 300 gallons of water is another three, not quite 3,000 pounds. So we're at almost 4,000 pounds just on the back of a little F1 or, one, or 350 and just hammering on it. And it's like, dude, be easy on it. <laughs> we're not here to race. We're not here to see if we can kill the truck. <laughs> this is part of it. Um, like, why are we texting you? So um, this is a way that I am, if you want to sign up, you can sign up. If you don't, if you get it, I will let you know when we are going live and when I go live. And so when you text it, it will let me know when you go. I will send a text saying, hey, I'm going live. Um, I know some people get the message already for the other, but this is just a way for me to um, help people know that, hey, I'm going live. So that is um, vehicle maintenance. And then we always got the miscellaneous, right? Um, we got miscellaneous. We got the cost of supplies, um, protective gear, gloves, first aids, fire extinguishers, you know, all those other things that start adding up. And so this is why we have to charge the $300 an hour. This is why we cannot charge $100 an hour. You can charge $100 an hour if you want a job and if you want to go out of business. That's kind of how that works, right? If you want a job and you want to go out of business, you charge 100 bucks an hour and you're going to go out of business because at this point you have a job. You can't hire other people. You can't grow you got a job and if you want a job it is a job so that's what i wanted to hit on that part of it tonight and so i'm going to show you something here um i got lots of you signed up so how many thinks it's pretty cool to see how that automatically texts you or texts your customer and it gives me all your information and it gives me everything and it sets it all up as a contact that all I got to do is, is go in and say, hey, I want to text everybody that has this here and I can text everybody for that right there. So I'm going to show you my screen here and so that way you can kind of see what I'm talking about um, over here on this here. So you can see here that I've done many tests because I had to, I've had to make it work. Uh, but by me texting all this information, it put my name in there and it put my email in there. Um, it's supposed to put my email in there. Let's see if I can refresh it and see if it's going to put my email in there. Um, if not, I may have screwed it up. But you know what? It's per you're, I'm never going to be perfect. And perfect is never going to happen to everybody. You know what? It's not putting my email in there for some reason. I don't know why it's not, but I will. Yep, it did put my email in there. So it put my email in there. It got me. So it, and then it's so it's I put a tag on there and this is how this all works. So you, I'll show you the automation here. Um, I got a lot of these automations going here. 
Um, but this is how cool this is so that you can see how we can start doing this for customers. We could literally do this for a customer. Now, I use the word king. You could do this as a marketing piece, so you could do it. Or you can do it. I got some that's going to be like if you miss your phone call, it's it's going to work down this workflow. So you can see, you know, it add a tag. So that's the tag that it added to. Um, that was the question that asked the first name. If you didn't reply, it goes to no. Um, and then it asked the first, it asked the, your last name, and then it it put that in there, um, and then it asked there, and then the last email was, or the last text was the thank you, thank you. And by me, I'm able to put the first name in there, so it actually sounds like I'm actually talking to you. So this is some cool stuff that will be coming up that I will be pushing in 2023 because the two things that make people fail is is one you freaking don't answer your phone so if you don't answer your phone i can even do a voicemail where a voicemail you know if you don't answer your phone and i get it sometimes we're busy sometimes we're up on a roof sometimes we're talking to a, another customer and so we can start this stuff coming right out of the gate and that's what i'm gonna that's what mostly i'm gonna hit rather that or two we can i can set up some stuff for you that soon as you get a um, a form filled out, it will automatically call you. And then once it calls you, you will pick up your phone, you'll push a button, it'll call that customer right away. If they don't answer, then we can start going down this system here of trying to text and get more information that we need. So this is what I'm working on. I've been working on this for a while um, and it's coming together. And so this is what we, what I am here to try to help you grow your business. So if you got any questions, I see I got lots of questions here that I want to answer because I want to help you all. I want you all to grow. I want you all to have an amazing 2023 is what I want you to do. Uh, I'm going to put text up there. Again, if you want to win a chance at winning $100, I know that you may have to go to um, watch another video. I put the video in the link um, and that is where I did it. So if you do it, that's the first $100. Um, and then if you put whatever, if whoever didn't win tonight um, and you got time till Sunday, I am only given one chance per person per. So if you do it 10 times, that's not 10 entries, but I will allow that to happen. Um, so let's see what we got up here. Yep, it's turning white outside. The snow is turning white outside. Uh, we hit 550,000 top line with a 60%, 62% close rate at an average ticket of $1,600. <laughs> Result of marketing levers, 72% of levers um, average over $1,000. Those 38 are average ticket of $2,000. Guys, it's important, right? Look at this. 62% with an average ticket of $1,600. That is freaking awesome. Started with Jill's office and adding Facebook ads and Google ads in 2023. My goal is to restore my wife and hit $250,000. What's up, mister? Retire my wife. <laughs> um, add Jill's office... We use 22 different marketing levelers, right? This is what it's about. It's not about putting it all in one cup. I see so many people have one or two cups and they're like, Ooh, I got my one or two cups. And what happens when you poke a hole in it, you have nothing. 22 different levers. You know what 22 different levers does? It makes this phone ring like crazy. That's what 22 different levers do. And what's a lever? Google ads. Um, Google guarantee, um, Facebook ads, Facebook, yard signs, door hangers, right? All of these are different levers. Google my business. All of these are different levers that we have that we're using. And what happens is, is you will get five phone calls a day and it'll be from five different levers. And so this is why it is important that we sit there and we diversify and we make things happen. I do a lot of marketing leads come through pretty evenly. Is SEO worth it? What's the average month spending a month? So here's the thing with SEO. We've been talking about this a lot on Monday Night Marketing. We've been, I've been diving in it really deep, showing people kind of what SEO marketing is um, and is it worth it? So 
I found a business out of Atlanta. They are ranking super good in organic. I mean, they're ranking really good in organic, really, really good in organic. But then we got looking and their Google local sucked, like sucks bad. Like you can't even find them on Google local. You can't even find them in the map. They had five reviews. Like they sucked at that part. So yeah, you might be finding them nationally and some of the keywords were ranking nationally, but they sucked locally. So, you know, and here's the thing about SEO. So there's kind of two different SEO way of looking at things. There's local SEO and there's big SEO, like trying to get nationally ranked on some keywords. So then that way you will help you rank on your Google local. But if we can work on our Google local, this is more important. This is, you know, getting our citations, putting our pictures, getting our reviews, you know, putting our GMB in the right place. You know, if you're just starting out, we're putting our GMB in. We might have to go rent an office in our best place that we need it to be. So it might be just an office. It might be just a desk that we're renting out for $100 a month. But that $100 a month, $1,200 a year turns us into a lot because it sits right next to our honey holes of our businesses, right? And so these are some things that we have to think about when we're looking at that. So if you're paying two to $500 a month for SEO, you're probably not getting shit at the end of the day. You're not getting crap. It's You're not getting nothing. They're not doing anything for you. If you're going to pay to get good SEO, you're looking at $1,000 to $2,000 a month. This is what you're going to spend for good SEO. This is what's going to actually get you ranked and get you where you need to be at. If you're paying less than a thousand bucks a month, they're probably not doing nothing for you. And that's, I, I know this is true. I, I've seen it over and over, you know, and yes, a thousand dollars is a lot. Two thousand dollars is a lot. But I've got a guy that's been texting me, and I don't know if he's on here or not. He's usually on here every night, Nathan. And he texted me the other day, and he's like, I've been paying $200 a month, and I showed him what he ranked. Nothing. His best keyword ranked is um, number six for roof cleaning Lexington, like you, Lexington, Kentucky. You would literally have to put all those keywords in for you to even show up at number six. You think anybody, and he's been paying this for two years of $200 a month. Now, think about that. He paid five grand over the last two years to rank for number six, way down at the bottom uh, for one keyword. So has that been worth his money? No, it hasn't. I'm sorry to tell you, but that's not worth your money at the end of the day. Um, will the rank math plug in help? It's good reviews. And it is free. Well, you know what? Things that are free aren't always good. Um, rank math, rank math is kind of like Yoast. Um, both of them have their places. Um, it can help you kind of, but it's not going to actually make you rank really good. Jason, where are you getting yours? I'm getting mine for four bucks in Florida. I'll bleach. I'm assuming that is. Um, those Kims. So when I was talking about the Kim sitting on the shelf of his house, because, um, Bob over here on this YouTube channel told him to buy this chemical Bobo over here told him to buy this one. And the next thing he knows, he has a whole shelf full of chemicals that he still has half because he never needed them at all. Um, I just recently got a downstreamer. It pulls 10 to one. My bleach is 10%. So where, if I were to, um, downstream bleach bottle, I'm only getting around 1%. How do I get that percentage up higher? Um, you can get a super sucker one, or you can get higher percentage bleach is the two ways you can get it higher. Um, if, if it costs me $150 a day just to start and that to do two to three jobs. And so this, what got me kind of thinking about this is I actually talked to one of my buddies, Mike, um, down in Georgetown, Kentucky, and he said it cost him $67 per job. Now, you might say, how do you know how much it cost you per job? Well, what you can do is, is how much did you make, how much are all your costs, and divide that cost into how many jobs you did this year. And that's going to give you a rough cost of, hey, it's going to cost you this much to go out and pressure wash and do those things. 
Never sacrifice marketing. Um, raise your prices and use packages. Packages, packages, packages. I haven't even hit on packages, right? Package. If you're not doing packages, um, and and this is a big comp. You know, Mike. You know, here's the thing. So Mike's been in business for um, since 2007. 2007, and Mike kind of figured this a lot out by himself. He he never went to any classes. He just figured a lot of this out by himself. And you know, this is he's kind of stuck. He's been at about two fifty to three hundred thousand for probably five six years. He's been stuck at that for five six years. Um, and so this is thing that he called me this past week and asking me, and I'm like, you know, are you offering packages? Well, I don't offer packages. Why not? Well, blah, 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 right? And, you know, the other thing is, is what is your price? Well, up to a 3,000 square foot house is $350. I'm like, well, you're too cheap. Well, I don't want, I don't want excuses. Excuses don't do any good because, you know, he's got a high close rate. His close rate's at like 75%. And, but he needs to raise his prices because when you raise your prices and we go to that $600 house wash instead of a $350 house wash, yeah, our close rate's going to come down to 50%, but we're still making more money and doing less jobs, and that is the goal, right? How do we make more money, less jobs, and add more packages? Because his average ticket, been in business that long, is only like $500. $500 is his average ticket, right? We want to get our average ticket up to $1,000. You know, I, I talk this a lot. We want to offer a $1,500 package every time. So I know um, I know Chris um, said that his his average ticket up here is $1,600. You know how Chris's average ticket is $1,600? Because every job he's offering a $4,000 package, a three to $4,000 package. And guess what? He's getting a $1,600 average ticket. You know what happens when you get $1,600 average ticket? That's freaking amazing. You know how you get $1,600? Is you offer a $4,000 ticket. When you offer a four, th and you might say, how the hell do you offer a $4,000 pressure washing job? Well, one, he goes in person. And two, he pressure washes, cleans, put gutter guards on, put concrete sealer on every job. And guess what? People buy it. You know, you know why people don't buy your stuff? Because you don't offer your stuff. And if you don't offer your stuff, people ain't going to buy your stuff. You have to offer your stuff for people to buy your stuff. That's just a matter of fact. That's not Jason being whatever. That's a matter of fact. You got to offer a fifteen hundred to a two thousand dollar average or ticket every time if you want an average ticket of six or of a thousand bucks. And you might say, Jason, I can't get that. You're right. You can if you don't believe it. I just showed you Jason Hefner. He did two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You know how many times Jason sends me pictures of the seventy nine dollar guys. A bunch of them. But you know what? You know what Jason's average ticket is? Way more than that. Way more than that. Because you don't get to $250,000 working part-time on doing tickets of only um, three, dollars $400. You just don't get there. It takes a lot to get there at that point. So then there are some things to think about when we're dealing with that. Um... Let's see. I like the text thing. <laughs> Pretty neat, isn't it? Especially you at the firehouse, right? Because if you miss a phone call and they don't leave a voicemail, then they can start texting them. And then that way it will um, start, uh, you will start being able to get their information. And then you will be able to start um, giving them a quote when you can get to it as soon as possible. Does higher percentage of SH above 15 allow you to downstream? Yes, you can get up to about 15% um, SH is where you can get to. The super suckers will allow you to suck more for the that. Oh. I'm starting automation at 23. What platform are you using? I am using my own platform. Kingofmarketing.io is what I am using. Right now, you got access to it if you join the Pressure Watch Help. 
But once I get this right now, I'm in test mode and I'm, that's why I'm just part of King of Pressure Wash. Um, if you're part of my membership at kingofpressurewash.com, um, you actually get all access to the automation also. So right now it's really cheap. Um, but once I get it going, it's probably going to be about 250 to 300 bucks a month is what it's going to be at. So you can go check that out at King of Pressure Wash right there. If you want to sign up for the yearly, it's even cheaper at that point. But like I say, right now, everybody in the marketing or anybody in my stuff, and once I get it rolled out, everybody will be grandfathered in. But from that point on, you won't be grandfathered in. You have to be in it and working it. Jason, what insurance company do you recommend? It depends on where you live at. Um, if you live any state around Kentucky um, tech, or Tennessee, Texas, that's not around, Tennessee, Ohio, West Virginia, um, Indiana, any one around there, um, go to pressurewashhelp.com slash insurance, fill out that form, and that guy will get back to you, and that's the one I would recommend to you. Matt Zinzer is his name. Um, looking at a 30-degree weekend here. Shut up. I don't even want to hear it from you, Pink. That I, I'll trade you all day long. Negative 42 degrees. You keep, I'll show you what cold is. Got 50-mile-an-hour wind, snow right now, and going to be 30 below wind chills. Yeah, and it's snowing like, and we're getting two to four inches. And the bad thing, it's rained all day, so I'm sure it's turning into a big ice skating rink with snow on top of it. I'm freezing, <laughs> not very much like Florida. Um, I'm ranked number five in my area, doing it on my own on Google. Free stuff is always worth everything you paid for it. My pre-job cost is about $35 to $60, depending on the job. Gutter guards are the, the devil. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you for your wisdom. Um, I want to be the first on the automation. My average commercial job is $920. Small restaurants, um, McDonald's, Burger King. My average commercial job is 900 Small restaurants, Burger King, and food, sidewalks, dumpster pads, patios. I have them one. Uh, membership was the best investment I ever made. And this is the guy that got to $250,000 in 2023 in three years. He started in 2021 or 2020, and he's made it to do $250,000 part-time as a full-time firefighter. So he works 56 hours as a firefighter every week and does pressure washing. He does not pressure wash on the weekend because that takes time away from your family, and I agree 100% on that. Let's see who else signed up. It's pretty neat to watch all the names come plopping in there. Um, <laughs> uh, sign ups. If you didn't hear me, sign up at King of Pressure or type in King to the Texas number right here. And I, what this will do is whenever I go live, I will text you and say, hey, I'm going live. And that way you know that I'm going live and you can come watch and learn something and grow your business. You know, I think that 2023 is going to be amazing. Um, I do think, I don't know how it's going to go 100%. You know, I thought Christmas lights was not might not be the greatest this year. Christmas lights turned out very well for a lot of people. Um, next year, we'll see what happens. I know in July and um, August, it kind of went for a lot of people. Um, so, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm not going to blow smoke up your butt to think, man, this is going to be amazing. Um, but, you know, rather you're starting out or growing, um, you know, when hard times hit, it really don't hit the small guy. It really hits the big guys is who it really hits. You know, if you got four or five crews and you get a, a downturn a little bit, guess what? You're going to be down to two or three crews. You're still paying for all that equipment that you bought or you're still paying for that stuff. And that hurts, right? It costs more. Um, and so, um, yeah, see, Jason even put Christmas lights saved, um, saved the year um, this year, right? Because they, they're a big business, right? Red Door is, you know, they have a lot of income. They got a lot of people coming in, a lot of people going out. And so, you know, Christmas lights, I know it hurt a lot of people come in August because there wasn't a lot. It kind of went 
down a little bit. And so it is definitely something that we'll see what will happen. Um, you know, I see a lot of people talk about, man, yard signs at the end of the year didn't work as good um, on pressure washing as they did Christmas lights. And it's true because Christmas lights is a more of emotional buy, right? It's I want to feel good for the winter time. I want to feel happy and it's the holidays and they don't care if the, how much they go in debt. Um, but the rest of the year, they're like, I can't go in debt. So it's definitely something to think about when we're dealing with um, Christmas lights. And this is true. Christmas lights safety is no joke. And this is even pressure washing, guys. I just donated $200 to a guy that fell four feet off of a ladder, four feet. It was only four feet off the ground. Um, he broke his L1, and it's not cool. It it happened. Um, you know, and he don't know how long he's out. He does Christmas lights. It was his last job for Christmas lights, and, and he is out. And he don't know how long, if he's going to need surgery or not, um, but we got to be careful. We got to have roof safety. So, you know, luckily he was only four feet up. What if he'd have been higher than that? And he land on your neck, you're dead, right? You're dead. And so um, it is important that we make sure that we keep our our safety, right? It's, it don't matter how much, I don't care if you make 10 grand on a job. If you fall off the roof, that 10 grand don't mean crap, right? So be safe out there. Make sure we're doing all the safety stuff. Make sure we're not getting in a hurry. Nine times out of 10, it's we get in a hurry. We need to have a safety mindset. I know I talk about mindset a lot, right? It's all about our mindset. Mindset, mindset, mindset. I always talk about mindset because mindset is the thing that, you know, it's the thing that keeps what we think, right? If we think with a safety mindset, it's, that looks stupid. I'm not going to do that versus I just got to reach just a little bit over, right? And it's that one inch that we reached over and we fell off and we died. I don't want to die. I don't want to ever have to go to someone's funeral or have to give money for your funeral because you did something stupid. So this guy, I they put a go, Matt King put a GoFundMe together um, it, I don't remember the guy that fell off the roof, but I do remember Matt King is the one that um, put the GoFundMe together. Um, and so they're trying to get money. And I donated 200 because I'm that's just who I am, right? I'm, I'm wanting to, I don't want to ever see that happen to anybody. But I also want you all to learn from it. And that's why I tell you this, right? There's a reason why I tell you this. Um, it's not to scare you. It's to, it is to scare you. But it's, I don't want it to happen to you. It's not cool at all. How much is your membership? Well, if you do the, the monthly, it's $99 a month. If you pay it all year, it's about $675. Bucks. Um, and if you do it quarterly, it's $199. Bucks. So there's all different kind of flavors for your savers. What number, ideally, when you start hiring employees? What number, ideally, when you start hiring employees? What do you what do you mean by what number, um, Alex? There's lots of numbers. Um, let me know. What is the best way to pay employee hour percentage? Um, I do like to pay by both. <laughs> um, so percentage. I, I, when I sold the business, when I when I did my million and I sold it, I was actually paying percentage for pressure washing for Christmas lights. I went to hourly, but percentage because. You know, I had some guys that would get done fast, and I had guys that took all day on the same job. Um, and so that was how I rewarded him. The re one reason why I like percentages is I know my cost per job. I know how much it costs me per job. It's going to cost me 15 to 20% every job. And so if they have a callback, that's on their that's on their dime, right? That's They screwed up, so guess what? Now you get to go fix your screw up. So this is why it is important that, you know, they take those extra things. You know, I had a guy that he was a rock star. Danny was a rock star. Danny, he still works there, I think, or he did right before Christmas. Like Danny was a rock star. Danny could show up at eight o'clock in the morning. I could give him five, six jobs a day, and he would be back every day at 3.30, no matter what, 3.30, 4 o'clock every day. So he loved percentage because he was making jack. He was making good money. 
you know, the guy that worked till seven, eight o'clock to do three jobs didn't like it very much. Um, so it taught him to work faster and to make it done. So um, actually, I was just listening to Brian Haggerty. Brian Haggerty is um, a dude that's doing $2 million a year or so, and he's out of um, New Jersey. And he pays 20% for the crew. So if there's two guys on it, it's 10%, 10%. If there's five guys on it, it's 4% each, right? And so that's how he pays them is 10% or 20% of the crew. So that way he knows that I'm making 20% of the of that job. L1. Yes, L1 is what he broke, I believe it was. Um, Google ads helped a lot for Christmas lights. Yep, they do. Love your content. Thanks for watching, Pete. I appreciate it. Um, I bought two tracks on my name. Are they going to be deductible or they need to be on a business? Thanks. I bought two tracks on my name. I don't know what tracks are, but if it's used for business, it's tax deductible. Um, I've done some stupid stuff in the past. I think safety comes with age. I think you're right, Pete, because when you're young and dumb, you're just that, right? <laughs> I'm sorry to talk to the young people, but when you're young and dumb, you just don't think too much. Um, but with age, you're like, one thing, especially when you start hitting 30s and 40s, you're like, man, that hurts a lot worse than it used to. Getting out of bed hurts worse than getting out before. And it definitely is what it is. My people. Um we think about safety more than when we're 48. You're right. Um, L1 is your lower back spine. Yep. Um, what's the best surface cleaner for a five and a half gallon pressure washer? Um, I mean, I do like the whisper wash, but it is a seven, $800 surface cleaner. Um, you can do, I would do a 19 inch is probably where I would be at, whether it's what it is. If you, in that way, if you upgrade, you can still use it. I broke my L4, L3, and L1. I have rods and screws in my spine. Reason I'm partial distance. Oh, that sounds painful, man. Um, also, they did a spinal fusion on my spine together. Ah, ugh, that hurts. But I bet an old, old Uncle Arthur probably don't help out things either. Um, ugh, that sucks, man. Um, yeah, so it's not a good thing to be doing that stuff. Um, so again, if you want to check out and be into it or be in, go check out here. I can, I'm, I'll tell you how many, this is how this works. Um, I can, I can look it up. I can see it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you know what? I'm supposed to be giving away something too here. A hundred dollars. Who wants to win a hundred dollars? If you wanted to win a hundred dollars, you should have went and watched the video and wrote in the comment what you're supposed to write. If you um, haven't done it yet, there's a link in the video down here. Go check it out because Sunday I will give out another $100. I don't know if I'm going to go live on Sunday night, but I will go live enough to give out the $100 for Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Santa's coming here um, for you. So that go check out that YouTube, YouTube video um, about it. Um, I got to go figure out what YouTube video it is now so I can, um, give out this money. Cause who wants, who wants to win a hundred dollars? Um, I do pink Robin says, so make sure you go check out the video. Um, I got to go find out what video it is for myself, your channel. It's something about concrete cleaning. Um, so go watch that video. If you don't do it tonight, go watch it this week. Um, so that way you'll be in the thing for, um sunday uh this one right here it's me with my goofy hat on driveway cleaning it's called driveway cleaning and ultimate driveway cleaning and concrete ceiling ultimate guide is what it's called so i'm gonna go check and see how many people did what you were supposed to do and i will give a hundred dollar gift card away tonight Hundred dollar gift card. Uh, uh, let's see here. We got quite a few here. Oh, shut up. Uh, so let's see how many people we got here. One, two. One, two. Three. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, looks like. Twenty. All right. Who wants to pick a number? You want me to put it in random, or do you want me to pick one of you all to pick a number? I'm going to do random. And that's random. Actually, I tell you what. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do something a little crazy. Whoever, so you all got some text messages. The first text message number that I get from 1 to 20 is going to be the number that um, gets it. So whoever puts in the first text message of this, you actually have to text you just where you've already texted that is you already should be in that thing. Just text me a number and whoever, whatever number you text one through 20 is going to win. So who's going to be the first one to text me a number? Let me see who's going to be first. Who's going to be first on it? Uh, let's see here. Uh, 12 is the first one to text it in there. Wait a minute. I Actually, I'm wrong. Jason Hafner put 12, but Tristan beat him in, and he put 17. 17. 17. So the winner is going to be 1. Shoot, that's a hard one because Nathan put like three of them in there. He's only supposed to put one. One, two. Truth Seeker is going to win $100. Truth Seeker. Um, so if you want to win another $100, put your information in it for Sunday. If you haven't, put it on here. Um, and I, if you, I don't know how I will do it, but that's what it is. How did you become such a, um, I will be, I will be first. I got one question for you. Um, how did I become good? You know, I come, what I teach is, is a school of hard knocks. Um, because I wasn't, I was just a blue collar diesel mechanic, went to college. I was homeschooled diesel mechanic. There's nothing special about me. I did go get a full ride for free at, um, 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 Northwestern auto diesel school. So I, I I'm a, I'm a got my associates in diesel technology. So that's kind of how I got auto diesel technology. That's how I know a lot with my hands. And that's how I know a lot about equipment is just cause I've been a mechanic for several years. I worked on fire trucks. Um, I was a diesel mechanic. I was a road guy. So road guys are a little bit different than shop guys. Road guys, you kind of got to, um, if you know anything about being on the road, um, especially as a diesel mechanic, you know, you got your toolbox and you got to make things happen. So that I learned a lot. That's how I learned a lot about equipment and how things work. And, you know, I learned the theory but at, at college. Um, and then I became a fireman. I was just a little old fireman for, um, 13 years. And then I started this business and I didn't know crap at this business. I didn't know, I didn't know how to talk. I didn't know how to sell. I didn't know crap at this business. And so I learned from the school of hard knocks. Um, I went and I did BNI. and uh, that was to help me start talking to people, start learning how to communicate. Um, and then, about when I when I got about 2016, um, I started learning a lot more about marketing. It was actually a little bit before that. Um, it was about 2014. I started learning a lot about marketing because I learned that there's everybody out there to screw you, right? Everybody's out. There. SEO is snake oil. I've spent five grand on SEO. 
um, and didn't have nothing either. And so that's when I learned how to start investing in myself. And so I started listening to people that I knew that had been there and done it. You know, a lot of people on YouTube, you know, I was, I'm, I'm and I've started reading books, which helps out too. And I'm reading a book, uh, it's called The Next Five Minutes. It's a great book. I highly recommend it to everybody. That's going to be my book for the day. The Next Five Moves, great book, 100% recommend you to read The Next Five Moves. And he's talking in there about um, there's three types of people, there's three types of people um, that you can learn from and, and that are usually on YouTube. Most So one of them is, is they're a guru and they don't know nothing. They, they know the theory but they know nothing else. They've never done it and they've never done it. And I, and they, they're, they're, they've done the business, but they've never actually done it. Um, you know, they might've made a hundred thousand dollars, but they're trying to teach you how to do a million and they've never been there. And I can pretty much name every one of them out there. You know, Bobby Walker, he's got his own business. He's at 750, $800,000. He's there. Um, you know, Southeast Softwash, he's done about three, 400,000. Now he's done millions on the selling equipment, but as an actual business, he's about three, four hundred thousand, right? So that's where he's at. So that's one person. The other person is they um, they've been there, um, but they don't know a lot of theory, right? And that's the school of hard knocks. That's kind of me. I've done a million. I can show you how to do a million. I'm teaching other people how to do millions. I'm getting people to do a million. And so that's me. And then you have the one that they know the theory and they know this here. And I do know theory because theory is a lot with, I can work the theory and then I've actually done it. So those are the three types of people um, out there of teaching people how to grow. So how did I grow? I started reading books. You know, when I started, when I started this journey in pressure washing, I wouldn't read a book to save my life. I would, if it didn't have all pictures in it, I wasn't reading the book. I tell you right now, I won't read a book. I still won't read a book. Um, and you might say, well, you just said you read books. You're right. I listen to books. And that's what I've learned. So listening, because that's how I list, I listen. Like when I read, I actually talk out loud so I can hear myself. So I understand what the hell I'm reading. That's just the way my brain works. Um, I'm not somebody that can just read, read, read and make amazing stuff out of it. So that's one thing that I did that I started doing. So once I started learning the pressure washing, I couldn't read enough of it. This was back in the day that it wasn't spoon fed to you. It was on forums and they didn't give crap out on forums. Um, you had to kind of figure it out on forums, right? So I learned everything. And then once I learned about marketing and what I needed to know about marketing, I was the $99 guy. I did Groupon. I sold Groupon $200. Groupon got $100. I got $100. That's what, that's how I started my business. So then I started learning about marketing. And so even to this day, anything about marketing, I read it all. I love marketing. I can read marketing and I understand it. Um, and marketing is, is intriguing to me. It's kind of like mechanic and to me, it's, it's a way that I can try to figure things out. And I love marketing. Marketing, I can geek out on marketing all day. When people start talking about marketing, I can geek out all day. I, I spent about $20,000 learning. And so the number one thing that I see people where they, where they will start struggling is they don't invest in themselves. Yeah, you can invest in your business, but you've got to invest in yourself. The number one asset you have is you. And the more you invest in yourself, the better you will become and the better you will do at the end of the day. And you know what? I don't even want you investing in yourself on pressure washing stuff. Pressure washing stuff is great. But, you know, go to how to do sales better. Go figure out how to do marketing better. You know, when you go to conferences and you go to a pressure washing conferences, there's hundreds of other pressure washers. And, yes, you can network and you can do it. But when you go to a marketing conferences and there's 100 marketers around there, guess who you're marketing with? Guess who you're rubbing shoulders with? Guess who you're networking with? Marketers. Guess what they know? Stuff that you don't know, Right. And so that's the reason why we want to go out there and not just do that. So I, I've been to many marketing conferences. I've been to San Diego. I've been to Chicago. I've been to Louisville. I've been to several different conferences to learn about marketing and sales, right? Because those are two important things 
that we have to learn about. You know, this is just a customer service business that just so happens to spray water. The spraying water part of this is a $15 an hour test. I can literally go out there and pay somebody $15 an hour with no brain and they can go spray water. But what grows this business is what you build your business. You know, that's why I don't push a lot of the how to build this any much more. I do I, because that's what drives views because a lot of people don't always like this. But this is what grows your business so that you can get to the next level. It's not about anything else, but it is about this. Hey, true secret, I need you to message me your information because I don't know. Um, I don't know everything about. It. I don't know um, all your information. At least uh, a text or an email, email me, or you can text this number and just say, "Hey, this is True Seeker," so I can send you your hundred dollar gift card, um, and I will get it to you. If you haven't texted, don't put. If you don't want to be on the text message ring, you can don't don't put King. Just text me your information, and I will um, get that hundred dollar gift card to you. But yeah, so that's how I've learned. And, you know, and then the last thing, you know, I, I've been, so I've been listening to Maxwell a lot and Maxwell talks about leadership and I've learned how do you grow your business is all about leadership. It's all about leadership. It ain't even just Maxwell. Everybody that will tell you it's all about leadership. If you want to get to the next letter, you've got to be a better leader. If you're a better leader, you can take your men and they'll do anything for you and it will grow and it will be amazing. So what do you need to do to be a better leader? Well, sometimes that, that's, a, that's a training in itself right there. Um, thank you for answering. We just got COVID for Christmas. That's a great Christmas present, said no one. I think my youngest has got something not good. I'm glad you mentioned BNI. Is it worth it? It's a lot of time. Um, it can be good, depending on what group you're in. It can be good, and it can suck. It is a lot of time. It's 90 minutes every week, and then you got to do um, other things. So it is a lot of time. It's called Business Networking International, or I believe is what it's called, and it's everywhere. Oh, so back to what I was saying. Um, so I learned how to start reading books, and that is by Audible. Um, and so 2023, I would highly recommend you to set a goal, how many books you want to read. Now it's not about how many books you read. It's about taking two or three things out of each book you read and apply it to your business because we can be an educated idiot at the end of the day, and we can have all this knowledge that we don't put into action and then it don't help us either. So it is about putting stuff into action and making things happen. What's the biggest mistake you ever made and what did you ever do to make that mistake again? Oh, that's a tough one um, because I don't really look at mistakes as a mistake. I look at it as a way to learn and keep moving. Probably the hardest thing was to get off the truck. My biggest mistake was I stayed on the truck too long. Um, because nobody can do it as good as I could. I stayed on the truck to almost 2016. Um, and so I could have grew more if I would have probably got off the truck by like 2014, 2015. Um, we had employees, but I just couldn't get off the truck. I was still on the truck in 2016. So getting off the truck is probably the biggest make mistake I made in that business. And the reason why I couldn't get off the truck is is because I wasn't a good leader. I didn't learn about leadership. I wasn't a good leader at the point. You know, my employees, we had issues. We went through tons of employees um, because of leadership, right? And so leadership is an important key for that. Um, if I would have got off the truck again, I was, and I didn't understand it, right? I didn't understand I was doing a $20 an hour, $15, $20 an hour task when I should have been doing a, you know, a, 50 or a hundred or a thousand dollar on our task. That's the important thing when we're dealing with that. Um, the job can only get to so clean, but the phone can never ring enough. That is true. Hi, this is truth. Taker. <laughs> Send me a hundred dollars. Um, I having a buy a second phone just for my business. One phone is getting a workout. So, again, if you want to join, you can text 859-696-1101. 
Um, I'm saying that so anybody on the podcast, if you text King to that, it will put you on the um, text list. And whenever I go live, I will text you and it will allow you to know what the text is. Um, so that is what you can do. Um, if you want to start and and be in the King of Pressure Wash, go check out King of Pressure Wash. Again, if you join either the monthly, you, the monthly, or if you want to save money, you can join yearly. Um, there will probably be, my wife's telling me, there may be a flash sale on, she hasn't set up no other sales, so there might be a better sale on Christmas or the, New Year, or the 24th or 25th. Um, so definitely be a lookout for that. And right now, everything is in it, um, but it will be, um, if you're not, once I do start raising prices on it, it will be on its own and you will have to, it won't be with the membership. The website will still be with the webs um, there. Um, the, the basic one, I'm actually looking at trying to do a better website um, that will be a template that you can either use or you will pay me to make it better for you. Um, so those are some things that are coming out of 2023 that I'm going to do. Um, if I have anybody in the South that wants to help hold a class, let me know, Florida area in January, maybe early February. Um, let me know. You message me, whatever. Um, get a hold of me. Um, all I need really is a rig. If you don't have a location, I'm sure we can find a hotel that has a, a room that we can rent out. So let me know. And um, I hope you all have a great Merry Christmas. Stay safe. Don't do nothing stupid. Don't be drinking and driving. Again, it comes back to mindset, right? Don't do nothing stupid. I don't want to see... Um, you all get hurt or killed or anything like that because I hate to have to take care of your wife and spouse. So don't do nothing stupid. I know sometimes if you are having an issue, you're lonely. I know this can be a lonely time of year. Message, text message me. You can literally message me and I, I will talk to you if you're struggling with anything that you need to talk about. Um, that's one thing I don't like to see. I've been as a fireman for many years, and I've seen many people do things that I wish they didn't. Um, if you are struggling with something, let me know. Hope you all have a great Merry Christmas, and I'll see you all later.